Shook with rage as Zara throwing awful footage, Meg calling Kate racist in Mike's interview. From Harry's interview to Zara and Mike's interview, Harry claims he never called the royal family the R word. But are you kidding me? That's what the entire Netflix and Oprah interview was all about. If that wasn't what Meghan implied in the Oprah interview, then this man is a compulsive liar, just like his wife. Why bring it up? What was it? I believe it never occurred, yet they're now concerned about being sued. Kerry Kennedy made a public announcement about receiving the Ripple of Hope Award for their opposition to the use of the R word by the royal family. As if Prince Harry wasn't embroiled in enough controversy, the Duke of Sussex is now under fire for vehemently denying claims that he called the royals racist in his bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. Recently, a royal expert has warned Kate Middleton and Prince William that they need to take action against racism in the royal family. Writing in a piece for news.com.australia, Daniela Elsa said, The Prince and Princess have shown impressive creativity and ambition when it comes to tackling their personal causes, climate change and early years interventions respectively. So why can't they apply that degree of boldness to this situation? For example, start a conversation by hosting round tables about the monarchy's links to slavery. It might be deeply uncomfortable, but after the racial reckoning of recent years with Black Lives Matter, etc., inaction and silence are simply not options anymore if they want this throne business to keep chugging along. The couple could launch a nationwide initiative addressing racism in modern Britain and the insidious ways that it still exists. Our God knows what their team of smarty pants advisors and aides could come up with if asked to. The one thing that the royal family simply cannot do is to continue to bury their heads in the sand and hope that the conversations about racism and the royal family are going to mysteriously disappear. So it comes down to this. Charles and Camilla seem unlikely both practically and generationally.